Rita, I, I, just, I just need you to know. I don't know if you know this. After every Steelers game, I don't have anything to do with the game. After every Steelers game, I'm like, where's that press conference? Where's that Mike T press conference? I got to hear it. So yesterday, post Rams Steelers, I'm like, where's my press conference? I'm like, keep going. Keep asking them questions. Keep asking them questions because Mike Tomlin just gives you stuff just naturally. Uh, you know, I'd rather say whoa than sick them. <laughs> they cut their, <laughs> they cut their eyelids off. What? <laughs> what is he talking about? Let me. But he just, it, they just all, they just all just kind of roll off all these they, they, these phrases. The standard is the standard. And we want volunteers and not hostages and all the stuff that he says just kind of flows out of him very naturally. And by the way, I'm talking about what he says, but the DNA of his team. So you know you can coach when your teams, year after year, even if some of the personnel changes, your teams kind of do the same thing. They're known for something positive. And his team, he does have a team full of fighters. Look, there's no way Based, based on their offensive uh, production, there's no way the Pittsburgh Steelers should be 4-2. They have been, they have given up more points than they've scored because their offense is terrible. They got a bad offense. They scored 24 yesterday. They got a bad offense, Rita. And they've gotten to four victories because they stole one from y'all. They just <laughs> took it. They took one from Baltimore in the division. I mm -hmm. saw them do the same thing on Monday Night Football against Cleveland. Yeah, they were bad. Yep. Oh, like they were bad and they scored on defense. They made things happen on defense and that's two wins right there. And so he said yesterday, I'd rather be four and two than three and three. How about you rather be four and two than two and four? Because based on their offense, they should be two and four. So I'm just here. I'm here to praise Mike Tomlin. He, like year after year, I know they haven't won the Super Bowl. I know some people in Pittsburgh say, say hey, how about his playoff record? I'd like to see some more playoff wins. It's amazing what he's been able to do year after year with that franchise. I, I'm a fan. I don't know about you. I'm a fan. I mean, listen, obviously, I ain't supposed to say this because, you know, he <laughs> is the coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers, but I, I do think that Mike Tomlin is a phenomenal coach, and I just don't think that there's any question about it. The way he you know, gets his team to overachieve week after week, says a lot about him and his leadership uh, for that organization. And, you know, this defense continues to be phenomenal. TJ Watt is probably going to end up being defensive player of the year. Again, he's keeping those guys in games, had a big interception yesterday to get them uh, inside the 10, I believe. Um, in the Cleveland game, you mentioned they had some turnovers there that kind of got them uh, for the win. And, you know, defensively, they played well against the Ravens team that ultimately shot themselves in the foot. But at the end of the day, when they needed to make a play, they did just that, um, especially on offense at the end of that game. So they just find ways to win. I, and, you know, you don't have a real explanation for it because, as you mentioned, they're not good on offense. You know, defense, they're good, but they've essentially had to carry this team. But for somehow, some way, they just find ways to win football games. Now, my biggest question for them is, how is this sustainable? Are they going to be able to continue to do this all year? year but basically what we know from Mike Tomlin is he doesn't have losing seasons so at the very bare minimum we have to believe that they're going to be nine and eight and if they can be better than that then they have completely overachieved I think that most people saw happening with this type of team with that kind of offense right now what they're allowing their team to do the, by playing this way they're buying their offense time now, yeah. I know they got Deontay Johnson back, and as he said uh, in that press conference, which was great, okay, great. Uh, in that press conference, he says, hey, Deontay Johnson coming back means that uh, defenses can't just focus on George Pickens. And so that, that's just buying a little bit more time. One more win, a little bit more time for Matt yep. Canada and this offense to figure it out. I don't know. Now, for all the time they need, they might need two or three years to really get the offense right because that, ooh, uh, it, it's – they're hard to watch and that Very. you're talking to somebody who is used to watching the Patriots 
and they're <laughs> 12 points a game coming into yesterday, 12 points per game, and that's a bad offense. But this one is, uh, I'd say, equally bad. Hey, thank you for watching, brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.